Hello everyone, let's rejoice, Unity 6 is officially here. There is a lot of new stuff, unlike everyone else I will talk about 2D improvements and one of them is my favorite, so stay with me till the end. There is a 40 minute video about 2D stuff, I will try to squeeze it in in a couple of minutes. Let's start with sprite mask upgrades. Now every 2D object can become a mask, which includes tile maps, sprite shapes and even characters rigged to skeletons. It also works with 9 slice sprites. Then we have a 2D physics substepping that will improve physics calculation and stability at low frame rates. In project settings, find physics 2D, change simulation mode to update and select substepping. You can choose when it will activate, by default it activates when the frame rate drops below 30. Then we have a sprite importer, you can directly import a sprite files and animations will be created by your tags. What's even better is that changes you make in a sprite will automatically update files in Unity, so you get a nice live preview. Then you can export those animations within Unity and edit them as you wish, it's a time saver. Then we have some minor improvements for polygon, tile map and composite 2D colliders. It's the, l l l the, the Lune Mesh option. You enable it in Collider options in the inspector and it will simplify the mesh. Then we have layer overrides for objects. For any object you can override collision matrix settings. Then we have my favorite thing, the 2D slide option. It's super useful for 2D platformers. Now characters can move on slopes and it's super easy to set up. The tutorial is coming soon, so click that subscribe button. Click 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 click. We have some lighting improvements and in the future, so it's not yet completely supported, but 3D and 2D will be closer. That means that 3D meshes will have the option to render as 2D objects and they will react with 2D lights. Now something more general, the Cinemachine package is completely reworked, so also expect new tutorials about that. Then multiplayer comes with great things, multiplayer center and testing inside editor. You don't need to build a game to test host client stuff, everything is inside the editor. There is a couple of AI stuff for 2D and 3D, but I don't want to talk about that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.